Hello everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to sync up a Google Sheet like this so that it automatically imports into an Excel workbook. Uh, this means that we're going to be setting up a live data connection, meaning that you can refresh your Excel at any time uh, with the latest, freshest data from a Google Sheet like this one. We're going to be doing it using a platform called CSV Getter, which is built and maintained by us. Um, so CSV Getter is a paid platform. Uh, but it's reasonably priced and really powerful and it lets you easily set up processes like this one uh, and loads of other processes as well. It's built for data automation and it's free to use and there's loads of guides so you can definitely have a, a play around to work out if it's for you uh, before committing to any payment. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to show you how you set up this live Google Sheets to Excel connection using CSV Getter. So firstly, we want to log in to CSV Getter. Um, there'll be a link to it in the description. Uh, so either signing up or logging in, it will give you a page like this one. Uh, you'll have quick access links to connect Google straight away, but if you're like me and have already connected, um, then you can either refresh or reconnect in the data pane here. So this button, this or the connect button, it's gonna bring you into the Google Flow where you basically choose the Google account that you would like to share your uh, CSV getter um, access to. Um, we're gonna ask for just simply drive.file access scope, meaning that there's no need to grant CSV getter access to your whole drive. You can lock it down to only specific files. Um, so it's definitely a secure way of connecting to your, your Google data. Uh, once you've been through that flow, you're prompted to select the Google Sheet. And this is the Google Sheet uh, where in question, the one that we want to sync up with Excel. So I'll show you how that works. Pressing this opens the Google Drive Picker. Now this is really neat. It connects directly through Google and lets you securely select just the spreadsheet that you want CSV Getter to have access to. It won't access anything else, just, just what you're interested in. And once you've selected that, it'll bring you back to the platform. Uh, so once you've selected your spreadsheet, you'll then be prompted to choose a sheet. What's the difference between a spreadsheet and a sheet? Well, this entire document in our drive is a spreadsheet, but the sheets are actually the tabs down here. And I'm, I've only got one, so I'm only going to have one selection here. But if you have loads of tabs in your Google Sheet, then you'll have an option to choose between them using the sheet. And the file name is basically the file uh, that's going to be downloaded from the, uh, the basically the data connection that we're cr creating. So I'll call this country exchange rates. And then I can go ahead and create my export. So now we're in the sample screen for CSV Getter, uh, which is going to basically show us what our data looks like. Uh, so you can see we're actually looking at this data here. Now we've also got the option to um, basically we can move about our columns if we want it to be in a different order in Excel. You can go ahead and do that. You can remove them as well. And we've got various export options here. So if you wanted to, for example, send this straight to Dropbox or maybe do some SQL querying on your data, you can go ahead and do that. But what we want to do is we want to set up a live connection with Excel. So here is something called an export URL. And we've just created this by creating our export. And it's essentially an API endpoint, which is going to download all this data, which is exactly what Excel needs um, for its live connection. Now, this is going to be a live link. So data changes in Google Sheets, the download uh, from this link is going to be updated. So it's, it's a live connection to your, your Google Sheet. And um, that's what we're going to use in Excel. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to do this on Excel on Windows. If you're looking to do this in Excel on Mac, uh, then you can skip to further ahead in the video. It's a bit more involved in Excel on Mac. Um, but And on Excel on Windows, it's, it's more straightforward. So I'll show you the Windows example um, at first. Now, I'm using uh, a virtual machine Windows, uh, which I've spoke basically logged into remotely. So this is going to have a little bit of lag and slowness. So I just ask your forgiveness for that. I'm sure if you're on a Windows machine, this will be much more quick. So this is what an Excel workbook looks like on Windows. So don't be fooled. I'm not on Mac here. I've, as you can see, I've simulated what it's like to be on a Windows machine here. Um, and um, if I go ahead and onto the data tab here, all I have to do is press from web uh, when importing my data. Uh, and that's basically the one step that, that we need to create this live connection. Now, apologies for the slowness. If it takes too long, I'll just cut bits out. 
So once you've gone and clicked from web, you get a pop-up like this, and this is going to ask you for a URL. And you can paste your, the URL that we copy from CSV Getter into this box. I go ahead and do that. And uh, the next screen that we'll get is basically a preview of what our data is going to look like. So you can see here that this is basically what we've set up on CSV Getter. We actually changed the columns here, so then we had country code alpha 2, alpha 3, and uh, this is now what's represented in the, uh, yeah, basically in the export, so don't forget that you can change things about if, if you need to. Um, but if we're happy with everything, then we can just go ahead and click load. And now our Excel workbook is populated with our, our latest data. Uh, which is really, really handy um, and really good. Now, if we want to refresh that end time, then we just right click here um, at the, um, over here in the queries and connections page, and we can click refresh, and that's going to refresh all our live connections. Um, so you can go ahead and fill out other cells, and you're always going to have this data being updated if it's being um, updated in Google Sheets. Um, and then, of course, you can, um, you can also change the, the properties of the connection here. Uh, refresh every few minutes or so. So there's loads that you can do here uh, and um, there's also more advanced ways to connect. So for example in CSV Getter, uh, if you wanted to make this extra secure you can add like an auth header uh, and uh, back in Excel when you are uh, when you're making your connection we use basic but if you go ahead and click advanced, I'll show you that quickly. Uh, we use basic, but if you have an auth header requirement on your URL that you can set in uh, CSV Getter, then you can just press advanced and add the bearer token down here. So it's quite straightforward um, in Excel from web, and there's loads of ways that you can play around with this, but that's how easy it is to create that, that data connection. Uh, now I'll show you how to do things on um, Excel on Mac. So here we have an Excel workbook on Mac, and to get a similar result, uh, we've got a slightly more convoluted process, uh, but I'll walk you through it now. So under Data, on the Data tab here as well, um, you can see it's not as uh, simple to basically get data. Um, it's a different flow to what's on um, Excel. So you've got the Data tab here, but you've also got your Data tab up in the menu here. Um, and if you go ahead under Get Data, you can use this option, Run Web Query. Now this is actually going to open up Finder. And uh, Finder, you'll see that we've actually got two sample queries. Now these are part of the Excel package, so these will be on your machine. If they're not, then I guess you just have to create a, a file, a text file, with the, um, with the extension IQY, and that should give you the same thing. But this is a file that we're going to update uh, with our um, CSV Getter Export URL. So, how do I go ahead editing these files? Well, I'm going to right click this and click Show in Finder, and this is the folder now. Now, with this, I'm going to open it with uh, text edit, that's all we need. So, here is uh, sort of a sample web query that we've got, so I'm going to update this with a fresh one. I've still got my CSV getter URL on the clipboard, but just a reminder that in our uh, CSV getter, it's this. URL here. This is what we're up for. Uh, copy that to the clipboard. Uh, now back in text edit, we just want to replace this with this. And what we want to do here, just to ensure that Excel can read everything properly, is add a type parameter at the end, which is Excel Web Query. Now what this is doing is, the default for CSV Getter in these URLs is to send a CSV file out. Uh, and we want to um, we want to make sure that it's actually going to send out an HTML version of this because this is what this query needs to read. Um, so just adding this parameter here will ensure that. And I'll save that. And just as an aside, if you want to see, this is an export URL which is going to give it all CSV. But here is how you put it into JSON, for example. And that's how to put it into HTML. And then you can put it into dynamic uh, searchable table. There's many ways that you can just update the nature of this link just by adding something to the end like we've just done. So as I, can, as I say, very powerful platform where you can enable loads of different processes just from one URL. But back in Excel, you can see that I just changed and updated sample web query one. So I'm going to go ahead and press get data there. Uh, it's going to tell you which cells you want it to put in, so you can specify that. I'm just going to leave it as the default. 
Uh, and then it's going to go ahead and run that query. And now you can see my Excel has been populated with the Google Sheets data, much like we did on Windows as well. And once again, we can go ahead and refresh that. So just to show you the nature of the connection we've created uh, in this cell here, if I do name, uh, well, in this cell here, if I update Afghanistan to Afghanistan 1, uh, then over in Excel, if we go ahead and press Refresh All, it's going to look at the Google Sheet again, and as you can see, well, it might be quite small, but it's added a 1 to the end of Afghanistan, the same thing that we did. So if you've got someone changing the sheet in Google Sheets, you just come over here to your Excel, you press refresh all before continuing your work, and you're good to go. So that's how to do this setup, this process on Microsoft Excel and Windows and Microsoft Excel on Mac. And there's ways that you can take this forward for you know creating automated exports. Uh, we have loads of basically of guides on csvgetter.com. Uh, so in the nav bar, for example, our guides page, it kind of uh, it's gonna make all these processes step by step and have them all spelled out for you and how to do it exactly. And we've also got um, like kind of very comprehensive document, uh, documentation where everything's kind of split up into separate processes. So you can really learn all about these type parameters and, and how, to, how to use this platform. Um, and in addition, we've also got a new Ask the Community page where you can come in here and ask a question to everyone else using the platform. Uh, and uh, <coughs> it, you might find that someone else has asked your question as well and there'll be an answer there. So we're hoping that we've given you all you need to set up this process. But if you have any further questions, you can email me at any time at info at csvgetter.com. Please give the app a try. Please let me know what you think. Please let me know if anything is missing. And uh, other than that, have a good day and happy exporting.